Hello everybody, my name is Rest of Toasty and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode, we constructed the base of our new nuclear power factory. In this episode, we're going to do the next part, which is going to be the processing of uranium ore into uranium fuel. Uh, you can see probably this is going to be too small, but I do have a general design in mind, kind of a wobbly wall. Although, at this rate, I may as well just make a circle. Yeah, scratch that. I'm gonna make a circle. <laughs> so this is gonna be actually almost as big as just the circle of the base in general. Because we simply need all of the space. This one is a little bit much. Because we actually need, um, I think, whatever, what's 84 times 2? That's like 168. We need 168 manufacturers for the various bits it's insane. It's ridiculous. As per my spreadsheet, we need 84 to make 1,680 encased uranium cells per minute. And then we need another 84 to make 33.6 uranium fuel rods per minute, which I just think is hilarious and also the worst. Okay, so <laughs> I've centered it here because if we center it where I wanted to, it would have gone off the edge and we don't want that. Uh, so we're going to do this... And then another one of those. And then we're gonna see if that's too much. Okay, it is kind of just barely not too much. This episode is going to be more based in the design. Because, I mean, it's 168 manufacturers. But also, it's only making two things. So it's not like that's good content. So instead, I'm gonna base this video mostly on the design of the factory. Oh yeah, and then we also need, what, like 100 something nuclear power plants? which is just wonderful. And here you see, not a circle, surprisingly enough, but a shape with 72 sides. Have to contact it, it may as well just be a circle. So we continued this for another 10, right? Oh, wow. Finally out of concrete. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Why is this so big? Oh, I hate this place. Um, <laughs> okay. It, does it have to be this big? Hold on, how big is the manufacturer? I should probably check. Manufacturer. That is actually considerably smaller than I thought it was. Maybe it doesn't have to be this big. Because if I can make it smaller, then that's great. The smaller I can make this, the less space it takes up, and therefore the less space we lose to the, the nuclear reactors. That's what they're called. So if I can make it a little bit smaller, then that's just perfect, right? It would also probably look better. Oh yeah, and I fixed this thing. I'm pretty sure it works consistently, but it might also be dependent on weird in-between magic physics. I don't know. It only works if I sprint into it. I can't sprint slide because then I go too fast, and I can't just walk because then I go too slow. It's great. It's wonderful. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can make this just a tad bit smaller. We do need 84 manufacturers, but it actually turns out they're way smaller than I thought they were, which is nice. So yeah, I'm gonna find a slightly new center and see if I can't make this thing just a tad bit smaller. Having it smaller also makes it way easier because I don't have to worry about this open space. Like if I have it with a, a radius of 11, they just meet up right where they're supposed to go. All right, so that is... <laughs> That's our circle again. Great. Just wonderful. I think we want to bring them all out to this distance and then put walls on the end of them. Once we have our full circle, we can start putting our walls up. Now, I do have a particular plan for what I want these walls to look like. So I'm going to um, suffer because this is not working that good. I don't know what I expected. What about this? Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay. <laughs> so I guess I'm just going to do this all the way across first. So, um, like that, and then like that. One of these, and one of these. So I can get these diagonal ones, which currently looks exactly the same as just having this flat one, but eventually it's not going to look like that. So here we now have a, 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 a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it needs to be any taller than this. I don't think so. Uh, we might run into issues where we can't fit all 
84 of the manufacturers in this space, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. If it does end up being a problem, then we just kind of have to make the walls a, a little bit taller, which really is not that hard, and I can just uh, do it. Anyway, uh, the important part is now that we have this in place, I can actually do a fancy little design. So I'm gonna do some of these in yellow in these little stripes, and I'm sure you can begin to see where this is going. Now that we've got all the yellow ones in place, we do the rest of them in black. And now we have ourselves a little warning sign caution tape circle thing, notifying that this is a dangerous area to be, because this is where the uranium comes in. In this little circular area, we can put our manufacturers for the various items which will be constructed. Um, I don't think I can make manufacturers right now. I cannot. Literally, I can't even make a single one. Uh, we need how many? 168 of these? Great. Thankfully, it is straight numbers, regular numbers, instead of like 84.2 or 83.1 or whatever. What the heck is this? That is disturbing. Um, boy, howdy. This is so tall. Why is this so tall? And you can't even see the wall from over here. That's just great. So we need a bunch of motors, a bunch of heavy modular frames, a bunch of cable, Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to do all of these at once. <laughs> Just the motors took up like a fifth of my inventory, are you kidding me? Oh, and the plastic's gonna suck too, isn't it? Oh, great. We need 10 times as much, but a stack is only four times more. Uh, and we're out of space. That's just perfect and wonderful. Ow. All right, so how do I manufacturers? I don't even know how big these things are. Let's see. Okay, so they are pretty big, but I'm pretty sure that in two, maybe three layers, I can almost definitely fit the 84 that we need. Let's put that here. Is that good? Yes, it is. But then for this side, we want it to move up by a few foundations, like, or a few meters, I mean, like there maybe. And then another one up by another few foundations. Let's do the same from these sides. Five to a side is our top. But then there's all this extra space in the middle where I could put more of them. So I could have some that were slightly like like in the middle. Not slightly in the middle, just in the middle. But I'm not entirely certain how well that would work with the belt work. I'm pretty sure I could do it. So that is 20, roughly a quarter of what we need for this first one. But with this much space, I'm pretty darn certain I could put in some more of them, right? Of course, it would be perfect to be able to get 42 manufacturers on that bottom layer, because then we would only need 40, or no, two layers, sorry, we'd only need two layers for the first thing. Although, at the rate this is going, I wanted this to be a tower, but it might end up just being like a little circle. You know? You know something? I want this to be a tower. I want this to be tall. So, I'm actually gonna get rid of the ones that are in the middle, and we're just gonna have 20 on this first layer, and then 20 also on the next layer, and then 20, and then 20, and then possibly a fourth, uh, like an extra one on each layer, just like in the middle or something. Because I want this to be very tall. I want this to be a very tall, very tall tower. So, this is 20, and then we build more foundations on top of this to put in another 20. And I think I do want to put one, like, in the middle. Okay, so that's 21 per layer, which means we do actually just need exactly four layers, right? Shouldn't be too hard. And it uh, wasn't, actually. It was just a little time-consuming, but not that bad. So now we do have, as you can see on the right, half of our 168 uh, done. And now I need to do the rest of them. But first, I'm going to bring the walls up. Apparently, in this area, if you go to a certain height, the lighting just completely changes. I don't know why exactly this happens, but oh well, I guess. <coughs> My bones! <coughs> um, anyway, I'm going to bring the walls up to this height, not with this whole thing, because that would be annoying. Instead, I'm just gonna do normal walls up to the top floor. A little something like that, maybe. Pretty cool, I think. 
I was gonna have it just follow along this line so that it's kind of matching to each one and I wanted to have it so that the next one didn't look the same as this one but it turns out with this pattern that I really liked where it was one and then two and then one and etc they're just the same they they lead into each other and they look exactly the same so nothing actually happened <laughs> I did kind of inspire this from the original design where the walls are like set in a little bit from these little ridges. That should be the first little section of this tower done. So we just have to move on to the second section and do another 84 manufacturers. It should be fun. Firstly, I'm going to bring this in by a little bit with like this little ramp thing. I actually want to do two more sections, the one section for two-thirds of the next 84 manufacturers, which I believe is 56, and then the remaining one-third, which would be 28. This is kind of the point where it gets more difficult to make the walls look right, because right here, that's just barely more than a full foundation between that point and that point, so two walls isn't really going to work that good, but I can't really put one wall in there, so I'm really not sure what to do. See, you get a lot of overlap this way, and I'm not sure how to go about this exactly. Uh, it should be fine, I guess. This could be an outer section. Ooh, actually, yeah. I, I picked this one on accident just because it was the first one I saw, but I might be able to have these walls be an outer section and then have, like, uh, little ones of these on the, the sides of it, except I don't actually know how to do that because it sucks a little bit i'll figure that out <laughs> but i could have like little things that drop down to this and i also want to see if i can get a different material for these foundations hopping suddenly from this to this looks very strange and i'm not sure what to do about that grip metal looks almost the same on the sides and looks almost the same on the top but i think do i like that switch better than i like that switch Yes, absolutely, I do. Okay, we're gonna do this then. That should be good. Perfect. Okay, doesn't mess with anything. Awesome. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I think I can do that. And then do this. And that should let me put down one of these guys. And then I can just do this and then do this. So that's how to, how to do that one. So all these inner walls are here now. Uh, now the question is, what do I do with the gap? I don't want to just do this again, because then it'll just like abruptly switch back into that. And I don't know if I want that. I can, I can look at it real quick. I don't know, maybe? But another thing I want to look at is trying to use pillars instead, because they'll be thinner and I'm 60% sure that it'll fit right in between these so there won't be any uh, it won't be any gaps uh let's see this guy yeah no gaps so it's thinner then right and it doesn't uh it doesn't like suddenly come out like the other one just kind of abruptly appears out of this wall but this one kind of fits perfectly right yeah so i want to do one of those uh but first i should probably how do i divide 56 that is um i mean you could divide it by 28 but I don't think I can put 28 on that many levels. 7 and 4 doesn't work that good. Um, So 4 levels of 14 would be the full 56 that I wanted. But I don't want to do 4 levels of 14. I want this one to be kind of shorter. If I could get 3 levels with 56. What is 56 divided by 3? Ah, great. 18 and 2 thirds. That's not what we need. Um, We could do 20, 20, and 16. We could do 18, 18... 18, 18 is 36, and then 20, we could do 18, 18, 20, but that's the same issue. Let's see, it has to be a, a few things smaller. I feel like we could. We could do 4 to a side is 16, and then 2 more would be 18, right? And then, like, on the bottom level, we could do 4 in the middle instead of 2. Little something like this on one side, anyway. Just gotta do that a few more times. Hmm, that's not good, actually. I can't can't fit this one in here uh okay so what if i put in one of these that shouldn't run into any of the wall things it doesn't okay Ooh, that is way better quite a bit better oh no they're like 
literally that is the closest we could have gotten it. That's good, but also a little bit concerning because now this guy is going to be right in the little pillar, literally inside of that, which I can't exactly say is all that great. Uh, I could, what I could do is this first one could be just walls instead, which absolutely helps. Okay, great. Okay, so change of plans. We're going to have a wall right here so that this guy can get out. And this new method should let us get all of these in the way we need to. That makes 16, which is good for not that much. <laughs> we need 20 on one floor and then 18 on another, and then 18 on the other other floor, because there's going to be three of them. We need four in the middle here. I did want to have this one left open, but I don't feel like that's going to be an option. Uh, so we need... Let's just see like that. So this is the minimum size we need, which means I can get rid of some of these blocks. I can get rid of like this. But having any traversal between the floors is good. So I'll just leave it this way. Just have something. And then on the next floors, basically the same thing, but minus these two, right? So pretty simple. Eh, kinda. <laughs> Uh, there was one other change of plans, because I kinda forgot that we would be going all the way up with this. So, at first I was just gonna have, like, down on this first level, right here would be a wall instead of one of these pillars, but that didn't actually work, because it worked this one just fine. But then I would have to have another wall up here for this guy, and that didn't work, so I just kinda pushed the pillars out a little bit. I also did build up the entire wall up to the, the, the height. So that's, that's another thing, but yeah, <laughs> I think it looks fine. The pillars are outset a little bit, but it's all right. Uh, anyway, at this height, now I'm going to move in by a couple of foundations, like probably this way, one or two, I'm not sure, because on this next level or two, I need to fit 28 of them, which is 14 per level if I do two levels, or like 10, 10, 8, 10, 9, 9, probably, just kind of depends how I want to do it, I guess. So I gotta figure that out. Probably won't be hard, but also definitely won't be easy. So we have a circle, and we need a total of 28 manufacturers on here. I could do pretty easily 12 on one floor, I'm pretty sure. Actually, now that I look at it, I don't think I could quite as easily put in as many as I think I can. Because if I had one that was out here, if I tried to put in another one, it probably would end up being... Yeah, no, that would absolutely run into each other. So that probably wouldn't even work. Even if I had it, like, back here? And no, I don't think that would work. Huh. Okay, so I can't do three on each side. I just completely lied. But instead, I can do two on each side. And that should get me eight. So then I could have uh, one in the middle on one or something. Right. We can, in fact, easily fit eight of these in here and have way more than enough room for belts, right? So that's all good. But I don't have quite as much room in the middle, which is a problem because I know for at least one level, I need to have 10. But I did just realize that I can do this guy here. This is nine. But for one of these, one of these sides, I can have it be three instead of two. So I can put this guy in the middle, should give enough room for the belts. So I can have this guy up against him, and then up here, I guess, let's say, hitting that half mark. So this should be 10 then, right? Yeah, and that doesn't get in the way. So it's a little uneven on one side, but it's okay. We could actually even make that side 3 as well, and that would give us 10 without having this one in the middle. And then we could do another 10 and an 8, like the one we had just before. Okay, that should be actually better, so I'm gonna do that, and this fits well within the little circle that I have defined. This is actually, this is a better fit than the layer below, given I didn't really bring it in that much. Of course, we still need the recipes for these, which I'm 90% sure at least one of them is a, or an alternate recipe, which I don't have, 
because I haven't unlocked the uranium stuff yet, technically. And that's all of them. That should be all the manufacturers. Finally, oh my goodness, that took forever. Now, this one needs to be, let me look at my thing. Uh, uranium fuel rods using uranium. Okay, well, we don't have any uranium in the first place. So now <laughs> we go unlock uranium, which I believe requires some of the fancy aluminum stuff. I think it might also take supercomputers, possibly. We don't need these two yet, I don't believe, except we might. I might- oh, I need sulfuric acid too. I can get all this, that's good. That's fine. Um, nuclear power. Ah, supercomputers, I don't have those. I don't have supercomputers automated. I thought those were optional. I can't get all of this because I don't have electromagnetic control rods. Man, this sucks. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna buy them. I think I have 60 tickets saved in here somewhere, right? Yeah, 67. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. And I have 20 some odd in here. Awesome. And then we can use the 21 hard drives I've gathered to get the fancy recipes. First stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the stuff that I do have. Uh, aeronautical engineering. I do need this, but I don't know if I'm going to use drones for a little while at least because those, those take batteries, which sucks, because I think batteries are like some kind of a pain to produce. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, that's gonna be, I swear. Miles. No, sir. Uh, we also need nuclear power and particle enrichment, which does require supercomputers, of which I have few, if any. Ah, I have 30. That's not enough. I think I, I, think I might have put some somewhere else. Yes, haha, -ha. that's, enough do i have enough of the fused frames if i do that would be sick this one doesn't need fused frames this one does need oh it needs turbo motors i ain't made turbo motors yet how can i buy those i don't suppose because those are the, the the fancy bits i assume that me oh i can buy those let's go how many do i need i don't know <laughs> okay let's see particle enrichment a hundred which is 16 things, and then also 400 electromagnetic control rods. Okay, we have our 100 turbo motors. We also need 200 and 400 of those, which should be fine. I just have to go grab it. We've already done this before because I'm stupid and I didn't think to do all of them at the same time, but it's fine. Sure hope you don't need electromagnetic control rods to um to build anything because I'm not going to be automating them for use. I'm just automating them to be built. Maybe I'll automate them for use later if I care. Currently, presently, I don't. That's still really big. I like how I've had like three largest factories and from this point forward I can't say that in a video anymore because this this nuclear factory is the largest one indisputably. Where am I? Where am I? I'm hurtling off the edge of existence is where I am. <laughs> or I was about to be, anyway. <laughs> you can see it from all the way over here. You can see it clearly from all the way over here. My goodness. This is... Ah. You, sir. Um, this is the right one. Yes. Yes, it is. Cool. Sick. Uh. Milestone reached. Ah, shut up. Note, this method of power that just skipped. This method of power, oh right, that was probably important, yeah. The recipe that we currently have for electromagnetic control rods is stators and high-speed, no, not high-speed connectors. This is AI limiters. The one I have is stators and high-speed connectors, which means that I'm using a special one. I'm also using a special one of these because we make this in a manufacturer instead of a blender. Whatever, we will do that later. Actually, I might as well just plug it in now, just to get it going. Control rods. You, sir, that is 100. I need 400, so four of those? Yeah, cool. That's wonderful. That should be enough, I do believe. Yep, indeed. Let's go. Okay, cool. I'll be back in a little bit, I guess, because I can't actually do anything right now. Uh, well, that is, um, that's unfortunate. I don't think I need any of these. Uh, that's unfortunate. I'll just keep working on these. Uh, probably won't show you all of them un un unless I find it. Obviously, then I'll show you that. But the rest of it's not really that interesting. <laughs> Come on! Let's... Cool. Okay. Sick. Alright. I can do it all now. No. Thank you. 
But I can't actually, I can't do the things yet because I still don't have the right recipe, uh, man. Okay, now I just gotta, I think I just have to grind these. And then we can start looking at the, oh boy, uh, powered, the reactors. That's what they're called. We can start looking at the reactors. We can't really use it yet, but we do need this one later. Plutonium fuel unit. I have it set up. We're gonna use the pressure conversion cubes to make the plutonium fuel cells. Rods, plutonium fuel rods, my bad. Uh, but that still isn't the one that I need right now, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the one we want. Yeah, this is it. This is the one. Okay. Uh, yeah, Swick. Swick. Swick? Oh, right. Oh, my goodness. That actually took a while. I did see a couple of them otherwise that we needed, like that plutonium one. But either way, now, even though it's nighttime, we love ni nighttime. It sure is amazing having everything be super dark in a YouTube video. That's a great idea. Okay, so this needs the fancy one, right? And how fast? Oh, just the regular speed, right? Okay. All right, sick. Let's go. <clears throat> now that that's all done, we can finally focus on the nuclear power plants, which I think are super expensive. That's great. Okay. And they take supercomputers, wonderful. I have not automated those, and I might not even. Um, I need at least a hundred of these. <laughs> yeah, I think it was six, six rows of 17, and I'm gonna see if that actually fits. We might have to be careful of the, because there's another little tower thing over there for the next part of the production. So I need to make sure that it fits before I shove in all the power things. Actually, you know, how big is it? Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, just a sec. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna start this out here, possibly, because we want to give space for any belt and pipe work. So let's say there. That should be on, just about on that little line. Uh huh. So this would be one row. Oh, that might not work. Okay, no, this does work, like just barely. <laughs> Uh, that's all well and good, right? So we do have six rows, and I assume I can do 17 of these. I have settled on this little formation where we do have an extension in around this edge because I really don't think if I do it the way I was hoping to, just because it'd be a little bit easier to have them all in like a rectangular thing. I don't think that's going to work, but uh, I did add these three on each end, which should hopefully help. And if it doesn't, then I guess we suffer. I probably should at least get the center or the, the furthest wall of the opposite one in first. I, I think I will do that real quick. I'll find the, the, the outer wall of the next tower, the bottom of it, just to make sure that everything comes in just the way I need it to, because it might be bigger than I think it is, and it might suck royally, so we'll see. 13, it is bigger, man. And this one actually, I know for a fact it needs to be this size, because the other one, I could kind of size that one down, but this one, now that I'm entirely out of concrete, I can't actually make it smaller, because it literally needs to be at minimum the size that I've already set for it. So, but if I can real quick find the necessary outer wall, then it should be a lot easier to put in these guys because I won't be worrying about, oh, am I running into the thing? Do I need to move it? What's going on? <laughs> it will be indeed bigger than this one, which is funny because I set this one up to be the biggest tower. So this is going to be the outer wall of the thing, right? I can do the diagonal as well, just to see. Yeah, perfect. And somehow that just barely scoots by. So this one is good. And then this one should be good to actually to add a few more down this side if I feel like it. Same over there. But at least for this one, we can only go to here. And the really funny thing is, I think for these ones, I don't know if we can. That would be, yeah, no, that's an absolute no. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little bit of a predicament, <laughs> but I think I can handle it. This one is two more than this one, if I'm not mistaken. So let me just check this. 15, meaning that this one is 17, the original number that I had supposed. 
Uh, this one then is going to be 13 because it's one less than this one. And then 13 again, and then 15, and then 17. Assuming I don't extend these. So that should get us 90 machines. At 90. Ah, uh, that'd be almost two times. So that would be two things per, which means I need 180 of the power shards for this whole section, which sounds really bad, but actually kind of isn't that bad. I don't think I can get it to where it's less than two power shards per power plant, unless I do some serious fiddling. So I think I'll just stick it at 90. Sir? What the hell? What? Oh... My goodness. And with all of that placed out, it doesn't quite look as bad... No, it looks much worse than it was. But this is just the beginning, as they say. <laughs> this is, indeed, the easiest part about these, these reactors. We still have to get everything belted up. All, I think, 30-something uranium fuel rods per minute among every single one of them because each one of them runs a single uranium fuel rod for five minutes. Uh, of course, I haven't put in the slugs yet because I don't have enough. And then we have to do the water, which is, I think, just for these alone, 40,000, yeah, 40,320 water per minute. That's not even including all the aluminum stuff that's down there that I have to deal with. I'm beginning to regret having put this nowhere near any water sources, except just some lakes. It'll be fine. I'll handle it. Everything is okay. Well, mm, it's fine. So, very happy with the design of this tower. I did finish it. I didn't finish it. I lied. I did part of it so I can do the thumbnail, but I haven't done the back of the top of it. Back here. I haven't quite finished this little top section yet, but it's fine. I'll finish it before the next episode. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for the largest tower I've ever built. Two largest factory sections I've ever built. I think this alone, aside from the steel factory and maybe the aluminum factory, this alone is singularly the largest thing I've ever built. Also excluding this ridiculous garbage. This is already like four times bigger than anything else I've made individually. So... <laughs> I mean, that's just wonderful, and I'm not even done with the belt work yet. It's great. But I'll catch you in the next one, where we start working on the second tower that you can see over there just a little bit, where it's just got a circle at the bottom, and that's all it has, and we'll do it later or whatever. Yeah, I'll see you later, I guess. Hope you had fun. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Rambling aside, I'm just gonna... I, mm.